Yeah, I wonder if it's um, the same thing that's affected that KG, it seems. Um, yeah, no, I want that water before we leave. Is that okay? Thanks. You get, like, no margin for error. Like, you have to be frame perfect. Now we can continue. Um, so, the, the question is, are we going to encounter Kazuya? Or what Because we're now heading up to the second floor. <laughs> Liam, you asshole. Uh, but we know the uh, the problems happened on the third floor. Follow chorus notes three. Post fort. Post-mortem post photography made its way over from the west along with the spread of the camera. When photography was still rare, images of the deceased helped the surviving family members deal with their grief. Post-mortem photographs that still exist in Japan use the same methodology as their western counterparts, but the significance seemed to differ. Those taken here at Mentakami region especially seem to embody a certain melancholic beauty. I believe the photos are a work of a scientist named Kuniko, uh, Kunihoko, Kunihiko Aso, having researched photos from other areas as well. It seems that he was the one behind many of them. His surviving records indicate the determination to use photography to capture the soul. Seeing these strange, captivating photographs, I've come to believe with some degrees of success in doing so. An old friend of mine used to call cameras loony boxes. I'm not sure if he meant that the subject appears trapped and alone in this dark box when viewed through the viewfinder, or that through the viewfinder meant peering through the dark all alone. At any rate, I have to find those... I find those words have some resonance. Yeah. The waters of this mountain are beautiful. A large volume of water flows from a lake at the summit, becoming rivers and waterfalls at the enveloping, uh, uh, enveloping the mountain in mist. Water covers everything. It is the source of this mountain's beauty as well as its sense of mystery. <laughs> According to local tradition, Mount Akame is one is where one could die a proper death. It has long been considered a spiritual spot and the subject of much worship, making it a righteous destination for those seeking death. The Mount Akami sect taught that upon dying, people return to the water. Here on the mountain, water is considered the source of the soul. A person's soul is then said to return to the water upon death rather than moving on to the afterlife. Those ready for death would rather gather at a mountain to return their lives to the water. Uh, to look at this scenery, I can understand how it has become a spiritual place, a place fit for passing from this world. I'm glad I came here. The people on this mountain have a yearning for death. That is to say, they have a yearning for water. A yearning for nature. Life and death are both connected to water. And KG's cassette. Dos. Or. Zwei. If you play Scrabble, um, nothing is better than some. Liam, you don't understand how tempted I am to time you right now, mister. <laughs> what the fuck? 
saw a silhouette of a shrine maiden from within the mist that envelops the mountain. With great care, she made her way slowly up the mountain. Something about her seemed somehow unnatural. I've been told that there are no more shrine maidens on the mountain now. Long ago, many maidens were murdered here. Perhaps they were returned to the water. Yes, they was. Would that then imply that they are trapped within the mist? Well, yeah, because if the mist is made from the dew, the waterfalls, and the rivers, then technically if the soul goes to the water... He's <laughs> like, dick. And he said that human sacrifice was um, once practiced throughout this region. Rather than returning people to the water upon death, the ritual involved a practice so-called pillars in special reliquies and sending them into the water while still alive. It was the role of the shrine maidens to become such pillars. They would take on memories um, of the dying and thereafter return to the water themselves. In doing so, it was believed that the subjects would continue living on as pillars. So in Japan, there was one sect called of Buddhist monks who would enter themselves into boxes buried underground for the sake of enlightenment. These monks were said to show they were still alive by ringing bells and chanting. This practice may be related. Onita, I have a dick. Hello, Grim. I see you. Uh, but what is the men who became the pillars fear or hope to appease? There are various teachings in Japan about where the afterlife, also known as the netherworld or hereafter, is located. Some teachings say that above the mountains or across the seas where others claim it lies underground within the very earth itself. Here on the mountain is said to lie within the water, implying a close link between the water and death. The pillars within the reliquies would be in a place close to death, but would go on living. Perhaps it was the special reliquies that allowed themselves to evade death and continue living frozen in time. It is throughout that perpetuating these pillars allowed those close to death to live longer lives. In a sense, it was believed that proximity to death helped develop a resistance to it. <clears throat> well, a life's better than dead, so, you know. Well taken. Guess what it means? Give, by any chance? Have I been saying when I say give? Ironically, have I been saying give? In, like it's like when I say fucking wunderbar, um, and I used to say it just because it fits, and it turned out to be. Mount Akami seems to have both been both revered and feared as the mountain of death, where only those prepared to die may enter, and those who visited were never allowed to leave. Visitors to the mountain had to pass through the shrine grove at the foot of the mountain, where the shrine maidens kept strict watching, allowing only the qualified, that is, the dying, to enter. Today, the shrine at this grove has been rebuilt as an inn, whose innkeeper kindly let me borrow the records of the time period the inn where Rui nearly killed himself. The records from the shrine's final year list one individual who is able to leave the mountain alive. Kunihiko Aso, after taking his post-mortem photographs, it, was see it seems he was invited to the mountain to photograph the maidens. I have heard his research into the hereafter allowed him to develop a special camera. If I could see the photos of the shrine maidens taken with the special camera, I'm certain I could come close to unraveling the mysteries of Mount Akame. When invited to the mountain, it is said that he was allowed into a house visited only by a select few individuals. If I were invited to the mountain, where would I be able to reach this place to? I wish I could.
or read and read. Same spelling. I made it at last. Or the fact that you've got words that pronounce the same but are spelled differently, like four, F O R, and four, the number four, F O U R. I must hurry. To the summit, I found a photo on a small path lined with spider lilies. The path seemed to head off into the forest, but it has become overgrown and is impassable. Could it lead to that mansion that only the invited can find? It is different from the post from other post mortem photographs. I can only describe it as being beautiful. It had a beauty and a sadness unlike the others I've seen. Was she alive? As soon as I thought how beautiful she was, I was bound. I heard whispers of love from the photograph. They were the words of a curse. Love after death. I must go to that place. My heart has been captivated. And then, because the, when they do the subtitles and the, the language translations, they put the order right. But then when I've heard them, I'm like, that's not right, the way it's been said. So, like, I, I, I know, like, that's right. Thou and do, yeah. Thou and thou. Hello, fuckbag. Hello, fuck big. I can't see you. Oh, you can see me. Another thing I struggle with is that some sentences are really simple. Sounds weird, but I find it hard to say. Um, oh, oh, God. I've used so many items, but I would say lekker isn't that strong of a word, but I would call it delicious with ser lekker. Okay, so like ser lekker is like a stronger lekker, so lekker being tasted like ser lekker delicious. What tickles me as well is as well, Kanga, when this stream like cuts up into the episodes, eventually ends up on YouTube. They're gonna be people watching on YouTube, they're gonna be slowly learning German thanks to you. Maybe. Probably not. Was that was that the book was? I guess so. Just what is going on in this map? I'm not sure. Oh, you fucking! I completely didn't pay attention to that. I actually could have stopped that. I always forget. Hello, YouTube. Abonnate den netten Briten. 
so Abaniet is sub net and nice Brit. Brit. Loren and Rui set out to find the folklorist's house. We learn clues from the video recording as they pass through the shrine of dolls. The white haired girl from Renstream appeared. She asked why he didn't bring her token and vanished. Yeah, so this is just what we just played through. 